I'm Dr. Remolina. I'm a pulmonologist in uh, Linden. And uh, in our practice of pulmonary medicine, we see a number of patients uh, with many diseases. One of those patients, one of those group of the illnesses that we see is called sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis is a disease of unknown etiology. Nobody knows where it comes from, and nobody knows sometimes how it's going to respond to treatment. It's difficult to treat. It, uh, uh, approximately 80% of all patients that have sarcoidosis with, uh, without therapy, they get better within two years. But it's those patients that are over two years or more and that chronically develop interstitial lung disease. They develop fibrosis. They develop, uh, the lung becomes stiff. If you will, think of the lung as a sponge. You know that the, the sponge is very soft and it moves back and forth. But if you take the same sponge and you put it out in the backyard after it's been wet for two to three weeks, when you pick up that sponge, it's hard and rigid. This is what happens to patients that have sarcoidosis and, uh, and they progress. As, a state, as I told you, sarcoidosis uh, may get better without much treatment, but in patients that have sarcoidosis for greater than two years, they can develop progressive uh, interstitial lung disease with interstitial fibrosis and the patient can have an awful, awful death uh, with this disease. Normally, patients with interstitial pulmonary fib uh, correction, sorry, normally patients with sarcoidosis they present usually as young ladies that go to the emergency room because they have severe pain in their, in their chins. And this pain, the chins, usually they have a, a, a lump that is beefy red and tender. That's called erythema nodosum. And if you see a young woman uh, with that type of a pain, if you do a chest x-ray, most likely you'll pick up what, a, what, a, what is bilateral hilar adenopathy. These are shadows around the, the, the lung that appear like pot large, pot large potatoes. It's called potato nodes. And these are typical of sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis occurs almost in anyone. We've seen people from Colombia with sarcoidosis, from Puerto Rico, or from the Dominican Republic. Many Hispanic people develop sarcoidosis. Most, common, most commonly, sarcoidosis is um, found in patients with, uh, from African-American descent. Uh, a large portion of patients in this country are from uh, the African-American community. Uh, also, in patients from Northern European communities, uh, we find that sarcoidosis is treated most of the time with uh, corticosteroids. In order to make a diagnosis of sarcoidosis, sometimes we perform what is called a fiber optic bronchoscopy. That is the insertion of a lighted tube, like a telescope, that goes through the nose or through the mouth, goes through the vocal cords, into the trachea itself, and into the bronchus. And under fluoroscopic guidance, we, can able, we are able to put a little um, clip and clip out a piece of lung to make that diagnosis. Once the diagnosis is made, the patient usually gets treated with corticosteroids. As you understand, corticosteroids have side effects, and it's important to monitor the patient carefully to prevent those side effects. Uh, patients with uh, sarcoidosis that do not respond to steroids or anti-inflammatory medications, anti-metabolites, they progress. And they progress, the progression is uh, dramatic. At times, those patients develop respiratory failure, and in fact, some patients may die. Sarcoidosis is a disease that can have a very good ending or a very poor ending. It is important that uh, if you have abnormal um, pulmonary functions or if you have an abnormal chest x-ray of your legs have, have a small lesions that are painful to check with a doctor and maybe the diagnosis of sarcoidosis can be secured. If you're interested in learning more about some of the uh, things that we do in this office, I suggest you go to the links so that you can, be, uh, may, you can become more knowledgeable about sarcoidosis and other pulmonary illnesses.